sharing with you a crafty tag video and this is with the wild hair kits today we are so excited to announce our new team for the wild hair kits we have a few returning members including myself and we have a few people who are well quite a few people who are new so i'm just gonna make this super casual i'm in my bedroom hanging out um so hopefully this setup is okay. I'm sorry if it's not, but hopefully it is. Um, welcome to my channel. If you are coming to me from somebody else's channel, I will link all the other channels down below who are involved. So please make sure you get to go check them out. We're doing this crafty tag so that we can get to know all the members on the new Wild Hair Kits design team, but also we want to tag other people. So, um... You don't have to be on the team or have ordered a kit or anything like that to be a part of this crafty tag. We are just inviting anyone and everyone to be a part of it and to um, answer the questions in this tag. So without further ado, let's just get started. Uh, I guess I should say before I start, just in case you did come from another channel, my name is Rachel and on this channel I do a lot of uh, paper crafting from scrapbooking to happy mail, a little bit of traveler's notebook and art journaling, Bible journaling that kind of stuff so that's what you'll find on my channel i try to post every three days so lots of content coming from me um every week and let's see what else do i have to say um i think that's about it so yeah the first question is what is something that people don't know about you and usually in settings where i get asked this question I would say that people don't know that I have a YouTube channel, <laughs> but you are watching this from my YouTube channel, so that kind of changes things a little bit. Um, I don't really know what to say. I guess um, people in the YouTube world might not know that I got married pretty young. I got married when I was 20. I'm now 24, so I've been married for four years now. Uh, in about a week, it'll be four years. So... That's something I guess this realm of, sorry, I have my paper with all my questions. Um, this realm of the world would not know about me maybe. So that's probably something that I would say. The next question is how did you get into crafting? So my mom is a very crafty person growing up. She, and still to this day, she has a craft room. She's more into quilting, but, uh, and like sewing and stuff like that. But growing up, she did some, uh, scrapbooking and now I have those scrapbooks so that is pretty cool um yeah so that's how I would have like uh, been introduced to scrapbooking and paper crafting is through her uh and then when I was 16 and my husband and I well he was my boyfriend we started dating I, well we started dating was I 15 or 16 when we, anyway it doesn't matter around age 16 I made him a um maybe 17 anyway I made him a scrapbook of our like dating time together so far and I have made a scrapbook from the very beginning of us being together which is now like eight years in total so that is kind of where I started and then my friend um actually probably about four four and a half years ago my friend introduced me to happy mail and I was hooked immediately and then really got into that like dove head first into Happy Mail, and I started my YouTube channel just over three years ago. So there we go. The next question is, what is something you're excited about in the crafting world? And whew, this is a hard one. Um, hmm. And you'll see why it's hard in my um, answers in other questions. I don't know if there's something in particular that I am excited about right now. But something that I do love about the crafting world is that, like, there are no rules. You know what I mean? Like, there's no rules to scrapbooking or how you should do things. There's definitely, like, like the rule of thirds and stuff like that. But there's no, like, you have to do it this way or else it won't work. Like, literally, you're just sticking paper and stickers on a piece of paper with a photo. So, that's what I would have to say to that. I don't know if that quite answers the question, but that's, that's what I'm going to say. The next question is, what is your favorite tool? Um, hmm. There's no particular tool except for like scissors and adhesive or glue that I use all the time. Like obviously you need scissors and glue to make your pages or your crafts. 
So obviously those are essentials, but like on the side, I also love my tab punch and I love my um, Tim Holtz tiny attacher. So those are some tools that I do love. Um, the tab punch, I believe, is from We Are Memory Keepers that I have. The next question is, what is your favorite kind of pattern? And I'm going to say this. I love floral patterns. Love, love, love floral patterns. However, they can be very difficult to use. So they're not quite as practical, if that makes sense. So, um, yeah, I love the look of floral papers and it's like, like fabric, like it's just so beautiful and, and you love to look at it. But when you really like put that paper to use, it's like very bold and, um, can be kind of difficult to use. Um, so that's what I'm going to say about that. So I love the look of it. So maybe that's more of like a branding thing, a marketing thing. I don't really know. But um, then when I go to actually use it, I'm like, I don't know how to use this correctly. Or not correctly, but just in a way that like shows off the paper without being too much. But with that being said, I do like other subtle patterns, maybe like a subtle floral or um, like I've been loving in my kit um, this month, which you'll see tomorrow in my video. I got um, these like watercolor background papers. I think they're from Pink Fresh Studio. I got those in my kit and I've been working with them and I really, really do love them. So maybe that's just like a current fave. The next question is asking how many completed albums do you have? Now, I probably should have gone and counted, but I probably have. So when I started scrapbooking, I did a lot of junk journal. So when I was 16, like I said, I started doing those um, for my husband and I, my boyfriend at the time. And I think I made three junk journals and I probably have a flip through on my channel if you like dig real deep. Um, or you could maybe search it in my channel. But as far as completed albums go, I have, I think I've done December Daily three times and all of those are completed. Um, I've done, um, Pro I don't know, probably like seven-ish, six or seven, like 12 by 12 albums. And in those, I mix my project life with my um, actual scrapbook pages, if that makes sense. So I would say like, yes, yeah, six or seven is probably what I have completed from over the years. I'm not a, like, I'm trying not to take too many pictures. I don't scrapbook every single picture of every single day of everything I ate and everything I'm looking at and the walk I went on and this and that. I try to... Um, make it pretty reasonable, if uh, that makes sense. And I have a couple like vacation albums too. Some of them, some of my vacations I just put in my regular albums, but lately in the past couple years, I've been making my own albums for trips. So I have an Italy album, I have a Hawaii album. I think that's it for the separate ones. Um, but yeah, from now on, I'm definitely always gonna do separate albums for my vacations. The next question is, what is your favorite kind of embellishment? So the great thing about kits is the wild hair kits is that you can customize it to whatever you like and what you like working with. Um, so Allison, the curator of the wild hair kits, knows exactly what I like. She, so obviously, okay, the item I'm going to say is something that I basically can't do a layout without and I've probably only not gotten it in a kit like twice maybe when she changes things up a bit but basically every single kit I get it which is enamel dots which I know sounds silly but I just love the little spark it adds I don't know I don't know what it is I just love including enamel dots in my projects or yeah, mostly the dots. Shapes can kind of get too particular. So that is something I love. Um, it also adds just a different kind of like texture, if that makes sense. So yeah, I think that's what I'm gonna say. The next question is what brand do you keep finding yourself going towards? And um, the brand that I find myself always going to is always Maggie Holmes and Crepe Paper. However, that is slowly changing. 
And this is kind of like what I was saying earlier about how you'll see kind of, because the question earlier was um, what's something you're excited about in the crafting world. Um, and there are some brands where you can tell that, or it seems like at least, the people who are creating it, and I'm sure they're lovely people, but maybe they don't craft as often anymore, if that makes sense. So the pieces aren't really necessarily usable or make sense, um, such as like giant pieces of ephemera that you'll just never use. I know you know what I'm talking about. Um, yeah, things like that. Um, so lately I've been leaning towards Pink Fresh Studio a lot. Um, I also really loved a Dear Lizzie collection that recently came out. Um, if you see my other wild hair kit videos, you would have seen that. Um, but yeah, I've been loving Pink Fresh lately. So that's what I'm finding myself leaning towards. Whereas usually it'd be like Maggie Holmes and Crepe Paper. But, um, cause I love the style of Crepe Paper and Maggie Holmes. Crepe Paper is, I personally think Crepe Paper is really good at, uh, finding like different styles. So like Cute Girl was so different than, um, All Heart. Like, I mean, in some ways they're similar cause it's both like Crepe Paper, but they have different vibes to it. And then they have like the here and there collection, those traveling collections. So they're really good at doing different themes and stuff like that. I always love um, crepe papers. Um, sorry, I'm like, this is just a little uncomfortable. <laughs> I'm trying to find the right position. Um, yeah, crepe paper. I love their like themed collections like Christmas and Halloween and stuff. I don't buy a lot of Halloween products, but when I do, it would always be crepe paper basically. Um, but their Christmas collections are the best. I love crepe paper Christmas. And Maggie Holmes, I just love the styles, love the vibes of like almost the vintage -y feel, but not like too black and white distressed. Um, I love it more that it's like feminine and floral and girly and stuff. So that is, that's that. The next question is, what is your best tip for getting in the zone and being productive? This is a hard question because I'm currently in a major funk. Like I'm talking about like months and I'm gonna pushing through like, I watch tons and tons of YouTube videos. So I'm pretty good at like pushing through that and getting inspiration through videos. And I love things like sketches and stuff like that. So I'm pretty good at that, at, at pushing through, but I still don't feel like my normal self, if that makes sense. But when I am feeling kind of out of the zone, I guess you could say, I, um, I, yeah, I watch YouTube videos for inspiration. Um, I switch up the craft I'm doing. Sometimes if I feel like I'm doing too much happy mail, then I'll go to scrapbooking or Bible journaling or something, if that makes sense. Switch up the type of craft. Yeah, that's my, my best. Because like I said, right now I'm in this never ending funk and I don't know how to get out of it. So I know I'm not the only one though. <laughs> the next question is who inspires you? If I'm going to pick one person and I think she might watch this video, <laughs> I'm going to pick my dear friend, Kate from Australia. She's Kitty Kate. She has a YouTube channel and Instagram and she inspires me a lot. Her videos are fantastic. Um, a lot of people whose videos I started to watch when I first did Happy Mail, they're not really doing videos anymore. Um, so yeah, if I'm going to pick one person, I definitely say it's Kate. She's very inspiring. Um, that's for Happy Mail. If I'm going to talk about scrapbooking, because at Happy Mail, I'd say my channel is more known for, but if I'm going to go on the scrapbooking side, I'd say like Inky Quill, Missy Whitten, all those very well-known scrapbook YouTubers. Um, they totally inspire me, even though my style is so different from them, they still, um, kind of help me go out of that comfort zone that I'm, that I sometimes can get stuck in. So I hope that answers the question. The next question is, is there a new type of craft that you would like to try that you haven't yet? And I would say like, just in general, like I love crafting and so I want to try them all, but I feel like... 
paper crafting is the one thing that I stick with and really have committed to. Whereas like when I get into other crafty things, it only lasts like a couple months or a year and then I like fade out of it and, and get disinterested. But um, when it comes to like actual paper crafting, that's the one thing that I'm always, always doing, always loving. Um, but I would, there's so many crafts I'd love to try. I just love DIY things and making something on your own. Like it's just such a cool thing. So all, all of the above. <laughs> the next question is what do you hope to see in the future for paper crafting? Which kind of goes along with some of the things that were said earlier about craft paper crafting brands and stuff. Um, I, yeah, I would love to see like Maggie Holmes create paper style with like the ideas of like Pink Fresh Studio. Um, if that makes sense, like I'd love to see like the two mash together. I think that would be like my perfect paper crafting brand. Because I love, like I said, I love what Crate Paper Maggie Holmes does, but I'm just finding there's things so unusable right now. I'm not sure why that is, but there's stuff like when you look on the website or on videos, it's beautiful and gorgeous. And maybe it's more of a marketing thing to do it that way. I don't really know, but that's what I'm kind of feeling right now. Um, so I just hope for things that are more usable, usable and... Things that just, I, I hate, because I'm a person who can use things that even though I want to hoard it, I will use it. Because when I like, I don't want things sitting in my stash. So I think that's just kind of like what I want to see. Things to just get out of my stash because I love it so much that I want to use it. Yeah. So with all of that being said, now I get to tag people. And I'm gonna tag people who are not part of the Wild Hair Kits design team because I want to reach this crafty tag to other people and get to know other people well as well. Okay, so I'm gonna tag three people. The first person I'm gonna tag is uh, Tina from Mrs. A Valley. So I'm gonna tag her down below so you can check out our channel and maybe she will do this crafty tag if she watches this video. Um, the second person I'm going to tag is um, Alicia from Love Letter Generation. So maybe she will do this tag as well, which would be so cool to get to know her better. And the third person I'm going to tag is... Um, I know she watches some of my videos, but I don't know if she'll see this one. But I'm going to go for it anyway. I'm going to tag Danny from Pop Fits Paper. Um... And I hope she will do this tag as well so I can get to know her better. Um, I've been following her channel for years. I think since like I started finding Happy Mail YouTubers, she's one of the first ones I found. And she's super duper awesome and talented. And she has this really cool thing that's like a crafty camp this summer, which is the coolest thing ever. And I wish I got to join, so maybe next year. But um, definitely go check out our channel. Check out all three of the channels down below that I tagged and check out their Instagrams and maybe they'll do the tag too. And um, you can get to know them better and hopefully people can pass it on to others. And also, of course, click down below to everyone in the design team, the new design team for 2019, 2020. Oh, that's weird to say. Um, check out their videos so you can get to know them too and see who they tag and pass it along to. Also, if you do the video, even if you don't have a YouTube channel and you just want to do it on Instagram, totally cool. Um, make sure you use the hashtag TWHK Crafty Tag. I hope I got that right. If not, I'll put it down below. I hope I got that right. <laughs> but it's the Wild Hair Kids Crafty Tag. So... I hope I covered everything. Um, thank you so much for watching. Thank you for the support. Um, I have lots of videos to come. Tomorrow's my unboxing video, which is gonna be great. It has tons of the new Pink Fresh Studio stuff. I'm so stoked. This video went on really long. I'm so sorry about that, but people did tell me last time that they liked the face-to-face -face video once in a while, so I'm so glad. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you have a wonderful day. Thank you so much for watching. I love you guys. Have a great day. Bye.